morning. Uh, first, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Bing for invi inviting me to this uh, most important uh, tech forum in Vietnam. Thank you. And all FPT executive and all honorable VIP guests, I would like to take this opportunity to share with you uh, the latest trend and development in agentic AI and automotive. Uh, it's also my personal journey. I started out uh, almost 30 years ago working with Steve Jobs uh, at Next Computer, and then we were acquired by Apple. So we take 10 years to develop iPhone. So after 2007, we introduced uh, uh, iPhone. Um, I stay on another uh, three years. So all my career, early career, I spending on OS level, uh, chip level, and uh, platform level uh, development. So I move on to China to start my own uh, uh, startup in enterprise mobility management platform and security, basically manage all, all things that is mobile, all things that are connected to the internet. And 2017 to 2020, I spent three years uh, focus on research in cybersecurity, especially Web3 and blockchain area. 2020, I joined Foxconn as CTO, helping them. We spent two years uh, helping them to create the open SDV platform. I call it Android of EV platform. Later, uh, 2020, uh, I stay in Taiwan uh, advising SkyMiser and other chip company to design software design AI chip uh, for AI infrastructure. 2024, I met FBT with a great uh, ambition to attack on AI first, SDV 2.0 platform. So back to uh, five years ago, we already have this uh, open EV platform uh, design for Foxconn and MIH. Uh, within 12 months, we gathered more than 2,000 uh, global uh, software and hardware to join the movement. So, uh, 2021, uh, the famous Eclipse Foundation joined MIH. Uh, they call it Eclipse SDV, a working group in, AI, uh, in MIH. And then ARM, um, uh, from the headquarters, their global uh, automotive arm, uh, start developing uh, Sophie, and they call us up. Same thing, we are doing uh, STV platform. So I call this uh, STV platform era. And finally, but not the least, uh, Autoware, tier four, uh, from Tokyo. They have uh, AD kit that they join MIH to develop open AD kit for autonomous driving. So this year, I want to share with you what is in AI era, AI first SDV 2.0. So back again, 2000, uh, more than 20 years ago, and 10 years ago, we focused on website development and app development, what we call web first or mobile first. And right now, we are in the AI first era. The AI first era is all about agent. We look at the back all the development that you can uh, compile the code and use the OTA to move, to deploy to your uh, automotive. Those are all static development. You compile, doesn't work, uh, doesn't, doesn't, uh, the requirement and the function doesn't, doesn't change. So you deploy and then you OTA, uh, continue OTA to your automotive. In AI agent, it's all dynamic. There's no compilation. Basically, this is a paradigm shift in, in technology and development. So let's start it out, large language model, so-called the OS of Gen AI. We are entering a model-centric economic. So basically, we have the largest uh, the, uh, research company developing a foundation model for everybody to use. For industry, uh, people use the domain knowledge to fine-tune the domain data, for example, for automotive or for climate. 
And then for the deployment, you need to fine tune for your private data. For example, uh, a model of the car, RAV4, or a model of uh, uh, another uh, EV, maybe from uh, Volkswagen. Each brand can fine tune their own private data uh, for private ALM. Additionally, not just text. We have text, video, image, audio, music that you can also uh, tap into this uh, multi-modality uh, model. So after model uh, foundation, you have that, you start developing agent. So the future is agentic. I think this morning, 5 o'clock, I woke up and uh, my, uh, my ex, uh, there's, a, there's a tweet by Sam Oldman. He say, uh, he think the next giant step will be agent. So really, agent are the dynamic app that take action. For example, you talk to ChatGDP, there's no action, right? So, but agent can take some function call and finish your action and finish your goal, right? So in, what about in automotive? So Tesla started out as a software-defined vehicle definition. Uh, they can OTA, they can, they can OTA to change the behavior of the uh, vehicle. But in, in AI first era, we really need uh, a platform. An AI first uh, a platform for all the agents is gonna uh, race in, into the automotive. So the definition of a software defined vehicle 2.0 is you start with the, the chip level, right? And then classical, you know, on chip, on top of chip, you have all kinds of OS, whether it's a real-time OS or Linux. And then in the middle layer, same thing. You use a, a middle layer, a library, and service layer. What is different now is you can put uh, automated large language model. You can have uh, API that uh, pumps through your traditional SDV stack and you have agentic SDK. So this is a platform getting ready for AI agent to come into play. I call it an enabler for disrupted tech force to enter automotive. Today, automotive is a, a closed world garden. So Mark Anderson 20 years ago said software is eating the world. We believe it now, but now, software 2.0 is eating all the software 1.0 by uh, eliminating all the coding. So, uh, the agent development, actually, the ultimate goal is to, to reach the end-to-end. -end. You know, end-to-end -end meaning you reach the goal, you don't write, even write a line of code. That's end-to-end. -end. So, this is an example for the leading autonomous agent uh, developed by Waymo, and then, uh, for example, Tesla uh, released 12.x, right? On the, on the Waymo side, traditionally, you put a lot of sensor layer, uh, you get multiple fusion coming, you have perception. How do you, from multiple fusion to perception, you need to do some hand coding to fuse together to create this uh, perception layer. And then you hand code, a lot of hand code for planning, and then finally, you can control the car. For end-to-end -end agent, basically what Tesla is doing and all other uh, open, open source community already out there for end-to-end -end training agent is you take five seconds to 10 seconds of a video, feed it into the AI model, and come out is the action to drive, that's it. Now, uh, in automotive, we are very serious about uh, functional safety. So on top of this, uh, what I call probability model uh, world, uh, instead of the deterministic functional safety model, how do we go against what we call alignment and guardrail? This safety, this layer of safety module is very important and it should be uh, rule-based. So uh, let me introduce this agentic uh, auto demo. Now basically, you have the AI uh, infrastructure from the chip and agentic uh, SDK. Uh, you have a fine-tuned domain, uh, LM. And then, for example, this is my own car, 20, 
20 uh, Toyota RAV4. Uh, I fine tune it for Toyota menu, uh, owner menu and techno menu. So this LM really know well about my personal car. So uh, this car later, uh, you can see the same version on the four. Uh, we scale this into three model, uh, uh, three different model without any source code uh, modification. So the new automotive experience is really the LLM, fine tuning, AI agent. It's sort of like Line Rider, right? 30 years ago, the Line Rider when I growing up. So this is all the back end source code that proven that it's uh, coming out the uh, control command to drive the car. So let's compare SDV 1.0. It, it was tidy couple. Uh, there's no clear hall, uh, hardware abstraction uh, layer. Uh, it's not uh, service-oriented architecture. It's really monolithic, very hard to uh, up update without OTA the whole application to replace your previous application. In AI first SDV, is everything is loosely coupled. There's a clear whole uh, hardware abstraction layer. The software is a secure API, SOA microservices. You know all the latest trend in uh, software development, security by design. Most importantly, it has uh, native personalization support. So basically, the more that you you use the car, like your pet, the more the car know you, right? Uh, also, the native AI infra, AI first agentic era for this. So we don't have much time. This, this is for like two hours presentation. I try to squeeze in. So come to the end. SDV 1.1, the current leader, Tesla and Rivian, still in SDV 1.0. Uh, current leader in China, SDV plus some AI feature they put it in, like Xiaomi and all that, right? We really need a a modern AI infrastructure, SDV, for the future agentic, the, the true agentic uh, platform for automotive. It is the inferencing. It's not local, not necessarily local or a remote cloud. It is a dynamic decision to local inference or remote inferencing. So it's, it's, it's a all AI agent uh, native SDK for automotive. And so you can with the API adapter layer and the model, different model LLM, you can really scale to all different uh, kind of model. And plus, we introduce the user uh, identity, so you can have personalization data for each, uh, each one of the car that the, uh, you deploy. So across all the OEM, very, uh, very fast, it's agile. So uh, let's, uh, we have, uh, we have them, some video. Please lock all doors. And so it's really hot inside. So this Please is the first car in uh, Taipei 101, before, one week before. I have it done. Locking all doors and setting the climate control to a cooler setting now. Jackson, set climate control and lock doors. Parameters, lock doors true. Climate control, temperature 72, fan speed high. Unfold the back mirror and roll down all windows. Unfolding the back mirror and rolling down all windows. Action. Parameters. Mirrors. Position. Unfold. Windows. Position down. All windows. True. Now close all windows and leave the passenger side window open. So you see the composite command into one command. Uh, maybe we can play the next uh, video. This is one week later to one of my engineers. Hey Jarvis, submit in all window continue. A different model, but with no source, mod source code modification. Hey Jarvis, please unfold the side mirror and lock the door. The side mirrors are now unfolded and all doors are locked. Hey Jarvis, 
set the fan to 50% and turn on the dome light. Fan speed is set to 50% and the dome lights are turned on. By the way, you can ask Travis to undo whatever you, you just did. Can you open all the windows? This is a, a few weeks ago in uh, Nakoya, Japan. Another model. Hey, Dora. すべてのことを戻してください。すべてのまどをしめ、サンルーフを開けました。ヘイドラ。暑いですので、なんとかしてください。エアコンのファン速度を上げました。車内が涼しくなるまで少々お待ちください。ヘイドラ。ヘイドラ。英語に切り替えてください。Language switch to English. How so can I switch to English right now? Tell me about the mouth Fuji and set the navigation there. Okay, so you got an idea. Today, there's a, there's a new model on the floor today. Uh, do we have time to play that? Standing at 3,776 meters. Uh, I am now at the FPT Automotive booth. This Let's is in front of the hall. You guys can check it out. With AI first SDV. Let's go. Hey Dora. I would like to know with the information about landmark 81. Landmark 81 is a skyscraper located in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. It is the tallest building in Vietnam and one of the tallest in Southeast Asia. The building is part of the Vinom Central Park development and features a mix of residential, commercial, and entertainment spaces, including luxury apartments, a shopping mall, and an observation deck offering panoramic views of the city. I'm super hungry. The navigation is set to Landmark 81. Safe travels. Thank you. It seems very hot here. The current temperature is 28 greedy Celsius with clear skies. Would you like me to adjust the air conditioning for you? Yes, and open all the windows and sunroof. All windows and the sunroof are now open. Yeah, so you got an idea. Right now we have Thank access you. to the body domain. Great. If we work with the OEM, we can enable all domain in the car with the secure model secure layer, uh, so the, the agentic is in the automotive right now today. Thank you.